Hello everyone, I am Pratap here. We are at uh, part 3 of lesson 19. So which is the last part of lesson 19. In this lesson we discuss about uh, trailing stop loss. Trailing stop is also called as a trailing stop loss. Some people uh, call it as a trailing stop. Some people call it as a trailing stop loss. What exactly the meaning of the word trailing? Trailing indicates moving or chasing. So what, what is moving or what we are chasing? That is what we should understand in this concept. Trailing stop can be used in three different ways. That means in three different areas we can use trailing stop. One is to prevent us from entering a trade too early. Second one is to limit our losses because some people enter early into the trades to prevent that they use a trailing stop loss and even to limit our losses also we can use a trailing stop loss but these two points are not applicable for supply demand zone price action theory. The reason is our concept supply demand zone price action clearly defines what is the entry and what is the stop loss because we are trading based on institutional order flows but if you are using indicators so they don't exactly define what is the entry and what is the uh, exit so that is the reason why they use some techniques to identify entry and exit exit means here stop loss what I mean to say stop loss because exit also could be a profit so because we know the stop we don't know the stop loss we don't know the entry people use the different techniques for finding them in uh, uh, technical analysis uh, with the by using indicators and other concepts so at the time this uh, trailing stop will be useful concept and we are not going to get into those discussions because our trading is completely based on supply demand zone price action we clearly know what is entry we clearly know what is stop loss and we also know what is a target also and this is the third one to protect our profits also we use a trailing stop loss and this is the area will be helpful to us in supply demand zone price action so what is the meaning of exact meaning of to protect our profits here uh, the meaning is to gain more profits already we have a target our system is telling but beyond that can we get more profits it is possible that's why we are taking the help of the trailing stop loss concept so how we are going to take the help of trailing stop loss concept for getting more profits in supply demand zone price action is we are going to learn in this particular video this is the main objective of this video. Hope you got it clarity. The remaining two points we are not at all focusing. So how to protect our profits with the help of a trailing stop loss. That means how to gain more profits. Here how to protect profits means how we can gain more profits. Probably that is the right word. So how to get more profits. That means how stop loss concept is helping us in getting more profits. That concept we need to understand. For that you need to understand two important points in case if you want to get more profits. The first thing should be the trade should be enabled and it should remain open. You should not close the trade. Once you reach the target what you do? You close the target. Once you close the target, you cannot get more profits. That's why trailing stop loss concept is telling you how to keep your trade open. How to open? That is what it is going to explain. Very soon you will understand. And second point, we have to continue to get more and more profits as long as price is moving in our favor. Why price should move in our favor? Because always we are trading in favor of the trend. When we are trading in favor of the trend, most of the times prices will be moving 
in favor of our expectations so these conditions both these conditions we are making use of with the help of trailing stop loss how we will look into the example we will get clarity so when we trade in the direction of the trend what is really going to happen in especially in supply demand zone price action i repeat it again when we trade in the direction of the trend what happens in general because we already learned trend is our friend until the end when there is a bend hope you remember in the phase 1 training program i clearly explained the meaning of this statement so based on that after reaching the target zone assume your entry zone is 15 minutes maybe it can be daily also it can be weekly also or even it can be 1 hour or 75 minutes but in this example let me consider 15 minutes is your entry zone maybe let, for better understanding let me say it is a demand zone we are taking a long trade in a 15 minutes demand zone so what is our target zone target zone is 15 minutes supply zone the immediate supply zone is our target zone so we will buy at the demand zone and then we will set it we will sell at the supply zone which is our target zone so after reaching the target zone that means after reaching the 15 minute zone prices retraces to its immediate lower time frame zone what is the immediate lower time frame to 15 minutes that is 5 minutes zone most of the times most of the times what happens prices will reach 15 minutes supply zone if the trend is up trend because you are buying in favor of the trend now prices reaches to the supply zone because the trend is up trend the supply zone may not push the prices up to the its opposing zone that is 15 minutes demand zone it may not may not be sometimes it will happen but not always from demand zone prices are going to 15 minute supply zone from 15 minute supply zone after it reaches because a trend is strong most of the times again from 15 minute supply zone instead of prices are dropping down to the 15 minutes demand zone instead of instead of prices will drop down to only 5 minutes demand zone the immediate demand zone definitely the 5 uh, minutes demand zone might be there between uh, 15 minutes demand zone and 15 minutes supply zone maybe that is somewhere in the middle or somewhere close to the 15 minutes supply zone definitely you will find a 5 minutes demand zone so prices will be reaching up to that this is the point you should understand and then again continue to move in the direction of the trend that means from 15 minutes demand zone prices went to 15 minutes supply zone from 15 minutes supply zone prices come down to the immediately available 5 minutes demand zone now from that 5 minutes demand zone again prices are moving up why prices are moving up because the trend is in our favor currently maybe the trend is up trend let us assume that's why again they are moving up instead of further going down that means 5 minutes demand zone is not violated mainly because of trend is in our favor this is the point you should understand is it going to happen every time you may ask a question not every time but most of the times it will happen because it happens most of the times now we are making use of the concept trailing stop loss we build the concept how we are building this concept i will explain in detail with the diagrams i will show you in the next slide so if the trend is very strong the retracement ha might happen only up to the zone at two times below the target zone sometimes what happens tr trend is super strong then if that is the case after reaching to the 15 minutes supply zone prices won't come down to 5 minutes demand zone because trend is super strong then where prices will come down from 15 minutes demand zone mostly the immediately available 1 minute 
demand zone that is one more time frame below so one time frame below is 5 minutes uh, for 15 minutes time frame one time frame below is 5 minutes and two time frames below is 1 minute in our example say if i say daily demand zone one minute below is 75 minutes sorry one time frame below is 75 minutes and two time frames below is 15 minutes if it is a daily if you are referring you already learned these concepts i already explained in our earlier lessons but i am trying to revise those concepts suppose if the trend is super super uh, it is a super trend trend is super strong the trend is super strong that is the case the prices from your 15 minute supply zone it may not come up to 15 minutes demand zone they will be limited to only 1 minute demand zone sometimes even they don't come up to 1 minute also that possibility is also there so these are the two important observations you have to understand based on the trend if the trend is strong what happens in that scenario you have to understand these two examples so based on these scenarios we are building a strategy how we are building the strategy let me show you in a diagrammatic way in this example i am taking 15 minutes uh, entry zone this is a demand zone let us assume in our chart it is already available now prices are entering into this demand zone and you want to take a position here and what is your target zone the immediately opposing side opposing side or opposite side supply zone so this is the 15 minutes supply zone which is your target zone demand zone is entry zone supply zone is target zone in this example in this example now what's happening prices entered into this demand zone you got a trade so you will buy and what is your target this 15 minute supply zone now prices are moving up and finally it reached your 15 minutes supply zone that is your target zone so where you book the profits in this 15 minutes target zone you will book the profit but if you want to use trailing stop loss why you want to use trailing stop loss you are expecting this supply zone will be violated and further prices will be moving up that way you will get more profit but it is also possible that from here prices again will go down whatever the profits you got all your profits will go away that possibility is also there right maybe it looks like this demand zone this supply zone will be violated so that you get profit you are feeling like that but every time whatever we are predicting that may not happen so that's why you want to use a strategy based on the trailing stop loss here what you identified below 15 minutes time frame you went to 5 minutes here you identified a 5 minutes zone this is a 5 minutes demand zone and you want to use this demand zone as a trailing stop zone this is called as a trailing stop zone why you are using because you are expecting if suppose if the, because the trend is very strong if the supply zone pushes the price down you are expecting at least this 5 minutes demand zone is going to hold it will not let the prices go below this so that means prices will go up to this 5 minutes demand zone again they will be started moving up such kind of strength will be there in this 5 minutes demand zone because of this because of the trend trend is in our favor so that is your expectation suppose if your expectation fails what happen this 5 minutes demand zone will be stopped out when it is stopped out there you want to book the profit that means until this 5 minutes demand zone stops out you want to hold the positions so this is the way you are defining this zone as a trailing stop zone why trailing it is a moving zone how this zone will be moving this we will see very soon 
ओके नाउ व्हाट हैपन प्राइजेस फ्रॉम हियर इट केम अप टू दिस 5 मिनट जोन सो एज यू एक्सपेक्टेड एज यू एक्सपेक्टेड दिस जोन इज बिकमिंग वेरी स्ट्रांग इट इज अ लॉट इट इज हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रांग ऑर्डर फ्लो एंड अगेन इट पुश द प्राइजेस अप प्राइजेस वेंट अप केम डाउन एंड अगेन मूव्ड अप एंड फाइनली दिस जोन इज वायलेटेड बट हियर यू आइडेंटिफाइड वन मोर 5 मिनट जोन हियर now what is, what you want to do you want to move this 5 minute zone to the newly created 5 minute zone here so you want to move it up you are moving so that is called trailing this whatever you are moving from here to the next newly created 5 minute zone you are moving please look into this diagram see now we moved this that's why this is called trailing trailing means moving or we are chasing this is another meaning but moving is the right word for our context so this is what people call it as a trailing now your stop loss is changed earlier your stop loss is uh, below this this was your stop loss earlier what for this stop loss to book your profits if analysis goes wrong now this stop loss you changed now you moved up so it is a new stop loss now that means your stop loss is moved so it is a trailing stop loss or simply short name trailing stop okay fine now what suppose if prices come down and hit this stop loss now you will exit here earlier you exited below now you will exit that way your profit margin will improve now now what happened to the market because trend is uh, trend is in your favor again prices came down again further moved up now here another new 5 minute zone is created here now what you want to do you want to trail you want to trail the stop loss that means you want to move the stop from here to here you are trailing now this is the new 5 minute zone you are considering that means if prices come down and hit this stop loss then only you will exit otherwise you will still keep your positions on you won't exit from your trade now again what happened to the market from here it came down again further mode why because the trend is strong when trend is very strong you always be having higher highs and higher lows that is what you learn in the trend calculations in your phase 1 training program now what happened here again a new 5 minutes demand zone is created now what you will be doing again you moved the stop loss to the newly created 5 minute zone now again see what happened to the market now it hit the stop loss which stop loss the newly created the 5 minute zone where you are considering this as your trailing stop loss because your trailing stop loss is stopped out definitely you will exit from your trade this is the way you get profit so earlier how much profit we got suppose if you don't use a trailing stop loss this could have been your profit without a trailing stop loss this is the profit without trailing stop loss because we used the concept trailing stop loss is your profit margin improved yes this is the profit we got this is the profit with the trailing stop loss now compare both which is more effective the first one or second one the second one gave you more profit how it gave you more profit initially you took some risk a minimal risk to even if analysis goes against you some some of your profit margin will reduce you accepted that because you accepted and you took risk and you accepted as per the risk you got the risk does not occur but you got more profit this is how people will be following trailing stop loss now again if you look into this we are expecting prices will reach to this 5 minute zone and again go up or even without reaching again something it will come down again it will move up either thing will happen that is what you are expecting but unfortunately what happened 
your five minute zone is stopped out the initially whatever you plan that is stopped out if it is stopped out what do you have to do you have to exit the trade because you exited the trade what will happen your your profit margins also will affect actually if you if you would have exited at the 15 minutes target zone what could be your profit this could have been your profit without trailing stop loss because the stop loss used the concept trailing stop loss and trailing stop loss is hit and your profit margin is slightly reduced so either things will happen that is the reason why definitely you need to take some risk so how much we need to accept so when to use a trailing stop loss or the other way also we can ask when you should not use trailing stop loss look into this example here price has reached and you want to use a trailing stop loss for your trade you are expecting market is very super strong super bullish and you are expecting definitely your trade uh, will uh, success this 15 minutes target zone will be violated and prices will further go up that is what you are predicting maybe your prediction could be right or wrong anything can happen we are just predicting that's it but market reality we understand only after that after the market moves further but before market is moving further we are assuming everything is super bullish definitely it will work so i want to use a trailing stop loss that is what you are thinking but where is the nearest 5 minute zone you have to find let us assume the nearest 5 minute zone is here can we accept in case if you exit this is the profit you get suppose if your trailing stop loss is failed you get only this much profit now my question is can i go for trailing stop loss with this kind of example just think can we go for trailing stop loss the answer is i will not say yes or no but i will tell you one i will show you one solution make sure we achieve minimum 1 1 is to 3 rr if trailing stop hits suppose your trailing stop is stopped out at in case if it stops out if you are in a position to get minimum 1 is to 3 rr definitely you can take if this is not 1 is to 3 it is less maybe 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 1.5 anything below 1 is to 3 don't go for trailing stop loss just book the profit in this 15 minutes target zone and enjoy that profit so if you want to take a risk and go for a trailing stop loss in order to grab more profits by the time you should have already got 1 is to 3 rr comparing from your trailing stop zone this 5 minute zone is trailing stop zone or trailing stop loss zone if prices hit this trailing stop loss still you should get 1 is to 3 reward your rr risk reward should be 1 is to 3 at least from from your demand zone to this particular 5 minute zone 1 is to 3 rr should be there now you see look into this 15 minutes demand zone till the distal line of this 5 minutes demand zone see the arrow mark whatever the gap you are seeing do you think three times more than this this 15 minutes entry zone definitely not this could be maybe 1 is to 1.5 or even less definitely not more than 1 is to 1.5 clearly we can see see the gap of this 15 minutes maybe it could be the gap whatever the arrow mark you are seeing that range could be maybe one and a half times of this 15 minutes entry zone so it is not having 1 is to 3 rr so if you don't have 1 is to 3 rr you cannot take a trade 
then is there any other solution okay we cannot take a trade because uh, 15 minutes is not uh, close to the 15 minutes target zone the distance is more okay even then if you want to take the rr from 15 minutes zone entry zone to 5 minute zone 1 is to 3 rr is not there that means in case if your stop is if, if your uh, uh, stock is uh, stopped out at this trailing stop still you should get 1 is to 3 profit but you are not getting you are getting only 1 is to 1.5 profit in this example instead of that book your profit in this 15 minutes target zone enjoy that is one solution another solution is there any other way because i am expecting market is super bullish definitely this will be violated that is what i am expecting so is there any other way to achieve my goal but market goes against i should not my profit margin should not be reduced this much at least i should get 1 is to 3 rr i should get this is your expectation as per this concept so for that the solution is so what should i do if there is no 1 is to rr as in the previous slide so the next solution could be go one more time frame below and check if we can get 1 is to 3 rr maybe the 5 minute zone whatever it is recently available zone is not having in case if that hit the stop loss you are not getting 1 is to 3 rr so that is the reason why go one more time frame below what is one more time frame below one uh, for 5 minutes that is a uh, 1 minute time frame so go to 1 minute time frame find the 1 minute zone assume i have a 1 minute zone here because i am expecting market is super bullish even uh, that's why even 1 minute zone also it doesn't hit Many, most of the time price may not come up to here even if it comes uh, one is to one minute zone definitely it will hold that kind of confidence you have that's why you want to take a risk now from this 15 minute entry zone till this one minute zone if you have one is to three rr definitely you can go for trailing stop loss based on the one minute zone assume assume from this 15 minutes 1 minutes 1 is to 3 rr is not there then just book the profit you cannot go one more time frame below maximum allowed time frames are only two suppose if it is a daily zone let us example you can go to first you can go to 75 minute zone or one hour zone if that is not supporting you it is not giving you 1 is to 3 rr then you can go one more time frame below that is it could be 15 minutes time frame that's it maximum that level only you can go you cannot go to 5 minutes or 1 minute further only allowed are maximum 2 first preference is 5 minutes if 5 minutes is not supported then you go to 1 minute if it is a 15 minutes entry zone if it is a 15 minutes entry zone the first choice is immediately available lower time frame if that is not supported one more lower time frame you can go further that's it hope i made it clear so assume you have one minute rr is there then what you can do start implementing trailing stop loss the prices come here and go up and going further you keep on changing your one minute zones and that way you will be getting profits is it clear now this is that in this case you will get this much profit definitely it could be in this example definitely it could be 1 is to 3 rr is there now let us look into one practical example based on this uh, uh, 15 minutes uh, or 5 minutes based approach i will show you after that i will show you one more for swing traders how we can capture more we have a special strategy based on the trailing stop loss I will explain that strategy after complete after showing you this practical example. So, yesterday only we got a trade. Astral. 
hash trial is a 75 minute zone let me go to the 75 minutes time frame i'll show you we have a 75 minute zone we have a drop base rally inside this 75 minutes we have a rally two base candles and rally the reason why we selected this stock is this is recommended by our neo stock software a special concept called high liquidity zones which is having higher success rate during the intraday probably in uh, once we complete uh, phase 2 i will explain in phase 3 this is going to be the first lesson how to trade with the help of high liquidity zones i will explain okay so this zone again is having one more lotl zone rally two base candles and rally so what we did we fine tuned the zone the 75 minute zone is fine tuned to 15 minute zone let me show you the 15 minutes time frame this is the one here this lotl 75 minute zone again we identified a 15 minute zone we have a drop candle two base candles three base candles and a rally candle you have a drop three base candles and a rally see excellent zone but this is not good enough for us we need to check even 5 minutes also till 5 minutes everything is good then only we can say this zone works otherwise it will be easily violated i already explained all these concepts in lesson 16 when a zone will be violated you land in lesson 16 okay now i am shifting to 5 minutes so inside this 15 minutes see here we have a rally candle two base candles and we have a this is again considered as a rally candle the reason why i am considering because the range is big bigger range and the body is not uh, uh, definitely it will be more than not 75% definitely because candle range is bigger you can consider at least 30 to 40% is also good enough candles having bigger range compared to these base candles we are comparing and then we have a follow through candle and in this 5 minute zone this is the fine tuned 5 minute zone we are expecting a trade then what is the target the target is 15 minutes actually 5 minutes target should be 5 minutes right why you are taking 15 minutes you may ask this question high liquidity zones are very special they give more target so far they are achieving this rule for the last 6 months we have been taking several trades every trade they are reaching 15 minutes target during intraday itself during intraday itself 15 minutes targets are actually dit trades but the dit target we are getting in intraday itself that means excellent profit we get that is what happening in high liquidity zones see today what happened the price has entered into this zone today means the last trading day price that is a friday friday prices entered into the zone we got a trade and what is the target 15 minutes target so that's why i am let us analyze from 15 minutes point of view so here we have two zones this is the immediately target 15 minutes target we have a rally 1 2 3 4 base candles and a drop candle there is one more above little above one more rally base drop actually this entire move started from here so that's why something what to say some kind of doubt i got in my mind what kind of doubt maybe prices may reach up to here and moreover price movement also see see the rejection looking bullish but it, there is no rule that it uh, it has to it will go up to here sometimes prices may turn from here that possibility is also there so and moreover the return is good from here to here see rr you will be seeing 1 is to 8 more than that so by considering all these factors what i decided let's go for trailing stop loss 
according to the trailing stop loss go to one time frame because our target zone is 15 minute zone so one time frame below that is 5 minutes can we take a trade that is what we have seen so this is before prices reaching into this zone you have to see that means let us hide the candles before this if you think from this particular image point of view at the time of reaching just before reaching into this zone you have a rally two base candles and again a rally candle erc candle but good enough for the considering the leg out candle good leg out a minimum uh, this is erc candle expanded large candle so the, having enough body for large because large candles we don't bother about uh, body at least a minimum 30 40% is good enough large candles 75% is required for medium size candles you, you should not forget those points see here i can draw a demand zone but see from here to here the distance is very less lot of in case if it is stopped out this much profit i will be losing i don't want to take such a big risk losing such a huge profit so that is the reason why i don't want to go with this approach so what is the next one in case one more time frame below one more time frame below is 1 minute if you go to the 1 minute see here this is a 1 minute time frame sorry something wrong oh, i'm sorry i selected a mistake in like 3 minutes it's 1 minute we have to go to 1 minute from 5 minutes uh, you cannot go to 3 minutes because you will get only 2 and 1/2 candles minimum 3 candles should be there gap that's why below 5 minutes uh, One minute is the next. So, if you look into this one minute, near to this zone, you have a rally, two base candles, and again a rally. Let me draw the zone. This is the one. So, what is it you want to do? Prices reach, then again they come down up to this. they go up that is our expectation but against our expectation what can happen there is a possibility it will hit the 15 minute supply zone and come to this 1 minute this 1 minute zone will be violated that possibility is also there if that is the case how much money you will be losing only a small amount of the money you are going to lose but do we have 1 is to minimum 1 is to 3 reward yes we have almost 1 is to 8 reward is there let me show you with the help of this long position make use of this long position see this is your i'm keeping a little below the 5 minute zone that could be stop loss because you will be adding stop losses right that's why and slightly before the 5 minute zone because you have some entry generally you take your entry a little before this zone even if you consider adding these buffers still you are getting 1 is to sorry reward is not here reward, uh, reward should be stopped out order it should be stopped out a little below because here also you will add stop buffers a little below like this see here there is a gap from this zone to this one so how much error we have 1 is to 7.16 rr is there say we can say 1 is to 7 1 is to 3 is good enough but you got a excellent profit so definitely without fear we can go for trailing stop loss if uh, it is stopped out minimum amount you will be losing still your profit is good margin a very 1 is to 7 rr you are getting still even if it is stopped out if it is not stopped out you will get even more profit then what you are supposed to get 
so now what happened prices came they touched this 15 minutes line and again came they didn't not really entered into the zone again they are started moving up but here what what you can see you can see rally three base candles and again a rally candle that means new 5 minute zone is created because new 5 minute zone is created you move your stop loss that is what trail trailing moving move, trailing means moving so this is the new stop loss now again prices are moving up moving up again we have a rally candle base candle but here leg out is not good so leave this here yeah, here we have a drop candle you have a base candle and you have a rally candle again created so again you move your stop loss suppose the price is turned down and came down see the profit how much profit you are going to get this is your entry this much profit you are going to get here two options because i already said this is the target second target it reached i exited from here there is a reason the reason is market is market is about to close in another see the candle this is the candle at 1425 so last one hour of the trading last one of the one hour of the trading most of the times most of the times what happens profit booking will takes place after that prices will come down that is one possibility a prices will be staying a small range for the last one hour that is another possibility rare situation further it will go up that possibility is also there so by considering all these factors this was my target second target reached but suppose if you are feeling still market will go up okay don't close your position because you already trailed your stop loss your worst case if it is stopped out you will get this much profit a very big profit you get instead of here small margin only will be missing but in case if anybody is holding the position without booking the profit here if you are holding see here now it stopped out now here here you will get the here you will exit and that way you will get this much profit let me use info line because it will info line will tell us the how much value we got this is the profit you would have got around 2975 that means close to 30 rupees profit you would have got actually initially what is your the profit you are supposed to get this is the target you are supposed to get 23 rupees 85 say approximately rounded value i am saying you are supposed to get 24, 24 rupees profit but you got 30 rupees profit you got another 6 rupees profit you got in case if you would have exited because this is going to be end of the day market is going you have to close your positions you can't carry for intraday point of view in case it is intraday point of view you would have exited then you would have got how much profit 36 pro 36 rupees profit you would have got another 6 rupees extra but whatever it is whether it is 30 rupees or 36 rupees definitely it is more than 24 rupees which is supposed to be your initial profit but your profit margin you improved by using the concept of trailing stop loss so this is a powerful concept suppose you may ask a question suppose my order is stopped out here in this zone initially we took this how much profit we would have got slightly you will get uh, less than 24 initial profit was a uh, 24 rupees right so you would have got 1790 so 18 rupees profit you would have got another 6 rupees less profit you would have got that means you are taking 6 rupees extra risk and you got another 6 rupees extra profit you got if you have, if you would have exited here you would have got 12 rupees extra profit you would have got so this is how the trailing stop loss will be helping you hope you got the clarity how exactly 
we made use of the this trailing stop loss and got better profits this is the trade happened and this is the way during intraday it has given from here to till the second target it has given 10.2 percent roi it has given written on the investment as per one futures margin cost i calculated if you are using options probably some more uh, more profit you would have got okay anyway i am calculating always based on the future margin cost that's why according to based on the 10.2 percent that is excellent generally people look for intraday 1% and 2% profits are amazing profits but 10.2% means it is an extraordinary profit now let's look into one important strategy how it is helpful especially this is helpful to get a huge profits helpful for the people who are carrying the positions overnight positions this concept is helpful the next one trailing stop loss strategy to capture the big move mainly for this is very much uh, useful for dit sorry uh, even dit traders also dit traders or wit traders or even monthly income trade traders i'll show you one beautiful example but this strategy is uh, you have to understand carefully please concentrate see when prices are nearing to the target zone generally what you do you want to look for trailing stop loss so what you will do we will find one time frame lower opposing zone for your target zone the opposing zone you will not see on the same time frame you go one time frame down and then we look for for example see in the previously we have seen from 15 minutes we went down one time frame down and we identified a 5 minute zone because it is not near what we did we went one more time frame one minute time frame and near to our 15 minute supply zone we identified a one minute demand zone that is what the meaning of the statement find one time frame lower opposing zone to the target zone and that is called as a trailing stop zone whatever the one minute zone we identified previously in the diagram that is called trailing stop zone it can be one time frame below or two time frames below whatever it is trailing means moving because that zone you keep on moving once new zones are created now make sure we achieve minimum 1.3 rr that is what we have seen previously minimum 1.3 rr if trailing stop hits see in our example we got 1 is to 7 rr even if the trailing stop hits it didn't hit in case if it hits we would have got 1 is to 7 rr but here what is the rule make sure you achieve minimum 1 is to 3 rr if 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 rr is not available go one more time frame below and find the trailing zone that is what we did in the previous example 5 minute zone rr is not available 1 is to 3 rr what we did we went one more time frame below that is 1 minute time frame and we took the trade if price continues in our favor what you do what you did in the previous example same thing you will do but here now you are learning a new point please concentrate whatever you have seen previously from that concept slightly we are deviating very very important this is carry your positions if price continues in our favor what you do you won't close the positions you will carry your positions that is very important point the main essence behind trailing stop loss is you should not close your positions you have to carry until you get the maximum previously we closed at second target because that is a intraday trade you have to close at least 45 minutes before market closes you have to close the positions but otherwise you have to carry your positions if it is not a intraday trade definitely what you do you will carry your positions for dit trade or wit trade or mit trade in all these trades we will carry our positions suppose this is the important point everybody please concentrate if a new zone creates that is what happened previously right but here it is not the same i am talking about a different concept here if a new zone creates at our entry time frame 
previously we have seen new zone creates in the lower time frame 15 minutes is uh, we are not looking for 15 minutes previously we are looking 5 minutes and 1 minute their new zones created what happened we are just trailing the zones stop loss zones that means we are moving stop loss but here please concentrate this is only the main strategy the backbone behind this this strategy is based on this point if a new zone creates at our entry time frame what is your entry time frame it could be 15 minutes if it is a dit trade or if it is a 75 minutes it is a wit trade or it is a daily zone if it is a mit trade so if a new zone creates at our entry time frame similar to the type of uh, similar to the zone type of our entry zone let us assume your entry zone is a demand zone let us assume your entry time frame is a daily so in daily time frame your entry zone is demand zone now what happened now a new daily demand zone is created now you have to do a different strategy earlier we have seen at 1 minute zones new zones are created for 15 minutes time frame now here strategy is on the same time frame a new zone is created then what you have to do shift the time frame to the entry time frame let us assume currently my trade is at daily daily is demand zone but uh, i used a trailing stop loss at 75 minute zone based on 75 minutes time frame i am keep on trailing my stop loss suddenly what happened a new daily demand zone is created once daily demand zone is created what this strategy is saying don't use 75 minute zones any more now shift to the daily time frame and use your trailing concept on the daily time frame only if daily demand zone is violated then only you will exit from the trade otherwise you will continue your position that is what this strategy is saying if you do like this you will get a huge amount of money that means you can capture the big money that is what this strategy is saying shift the trailing stop zone to the newly created zone at the entry time frame so already you have a entry demand zone on the top of your entry demand zone a new demand zone is created now you have to assume the newly created demand zone is your trailing stop zone not 75 minutes anymore so whichever time frame you are trading finally you move to the trade that means from initially we went to one time frame lower the moment a new zone is created in our entry time frame now immediately from 75 minutes you shifted to daily zone daily time frame and the newly created daily zone as your stop zone trailing stop zone you are considering i'll explain with an example you will get clarity continue the position till the most recent trailing stop zone and is stopped out that means if it is a daily zone in the daily new zones will keep on creating right if the trend continues new demand zones will be creating but at some point of time trend will change at the time the most recent demand zone will be violated when it is violated you exit from the trade and from your entry zone till that whatever the money you captured that is definitely will be a big money so let me show you one example now let me go to daily time frame this is a let us assume this is a monthly income trade swing trade and i am selecting the stock reliance reliance industries we are at reliance industries daily chart if you look into this chart let me analyze from monthly time frame i am not going to analyze everything just let me show you this was the monthly now again a recent monthly zone is created but earlier before this big move what happened let me show you 
we have a drop candle we, and we have otherwise we have a erc candle monthly erc candle leg in we have one two three base candles and we have a leg out this is the monthly zone inside monthly we have drawn a weekly zone inside the monthly see here we have a drop base rally this is the weekly zone we have written we have drawn and inside this weekly we have identified a daily zone here see this is entire thing is monthly inside we have a weekly now weekly and daily are overlapped with each other this is a daily zone we have a rally one two three base candles and a rally candle with gap up and this is the weekly zone both are overlapped with each other because the risk is high what we did fine tune the zone to 75 minutes this is only for entry point of view your trade is your trade is mid trade only but we, we are taking in the fine tune 75 minutes we want to take the trade because the daily risk is high so go to the 75 minutes time frame in the 75 minutes exactly at the border of this daily zone and weekly zone we identified a 75 minute zone we have a drop candle we have one two three base candles and this is a rally candle not a base candle i know some of you might be thinking this is a base candle see it is a hidden body see the drop candle from the close of this candle at the hidden body you will get a very big hidden body here green body will be added here definitely this is going to be a, a leg out a big leg out candle from here to here this is how institutions are try to cheat us so that their order flows won't be disturbed so in this zone you want to take a trade but in which time frame you want to take daily time frame but risk only minimized so that your risk is minimized this is your stop loss inside the daily zone you already learned in lesson 16 fine tuning the zone now let's go to the daily time frame and finally your zone is like this not this one sorry here finally your zone is like this exactly this is a dark uh, green color area you want to take the trade that is the fine tuned area see what happened to reliance on uh, 26th october exactly 5 months back uh, it gave an entry why i am saying 5 months remember that 5 months is a very big time you might be thinking right but remember the 5 months 5 months back we got the entry today what happened we will observe you got the entry but what is your target the immediate supply zone what is your immediate supply zone here you have a drop base drop this is this is not a base candle if you there is a hidden body if you add this is a drop candle after that you have a base candle and after that again you have a drop candle now you draw the zone supply zone daily supply zone okay so this will be your profit actually but what do you want to do you want to capture a big move why you want to capture big move there is a reason because prices are at low on the curve you got the trade till the reliance supply zone or maybe all all time high prices will be moving huge move a big move will be there you want to capture that big move but suppose here after hitting the supply zone if again prices come down you will be losing all your profit you have that risk after waiting so much time again prices come down your time will be wasted and also your money also will be losing you don't want that to happen that's why you want to take the help of a trailing stop loss let me delete this you want to go for trailing stop loss which time frame because this is a daily trade 
this is your entry and this is your exit this is a daily trade so where you want to use a trailing trailing stop loss go to before the supply zone find 75 minute zone so i am going to 75 minutes so we are using trailing stop in 75 minutes time frame entry is daily but using trailing on 75 minutes time frame so is there near to that is there any demand zone yes here we have a rally for base candles and a rally candle this 75 minutes definitely by the time prices enter it is a rally only single candle went deep that is a different story after that it closed definitely by the time it went to the zone it would have been a rally candle this is a valid zone but which zone is this 75 minutes demand zone okay if this 75 minutes demand zone stopped out you want to exit otherwise you want to continue your position see here prices came almost near to the 75 minutes demand zone and moved because there is a pro gap is there that's why little just before again see that means this because because this particular daily demand zone uh, sorry daily supply zone pushed the prices down but it is violated actually after that prices has been pushed but anyway this is what you want to choose but minimum 1 is to 3 rr should be there so that's why go to this long position and identify here how much profit you will get and your risk this is your risk this is your entry a little before the entry i'm stopping stop loss also a little below i have given some width approximately and your target is distal line of this because this if the distal line hits then only you need to exit up to that level only you are how much rr is there 3.06 that means you are getting a 1 is to 3 rr you are getting a minimum qualified at least a minimum profit you are getting now it is good enough to take the risk and capture the big move that is what you can do now okay now what happened further after that prices came to this zone again it went up is there any new zone created no new zone is cre not created again here one more drop base rally that means your trailing stop loss will be again it will be adjusted that is one thing but even before that look into the daily time frame in daily time frame soon after this zone is violated a new demand zone is created drop base rally let me draw this is the new daily demand zone is created let us delete this you may ask a question is it a demand zone yes you add the hidden body the moment you add the hidden body definitely this is a rally candle drop base rally after that prices came and moved up so till this demand zone is created you have to use 75 minutes so let us go to the 75 minutes and here demand zone is created daily demand zone you would have carried your positions with 75 minutes are there any 75 minutes demand zones here in between no so this is a valid demand zone now let let us delete 
That means we are shifting from this 75 minutes demand zone to daily zone. Till now, your 75 minutes demand zone is your trailing stop loss. Now, trailing stop loss shifted from 75 minutes demand zone to daily demand zone because then the daily demand zone is created. Now, let's delete all these things, cal calculations. Now, I'm changing to the daily time frame. From now onwards, we'll be using only daily zone only. This is an created and newly. Whichever the daily zone violates first, till then we will hold our positions. Okay, any other daily zone is created after that here. You may consider this is a rally, three base candles and again a rally, hidden gap you add, you are getting. So I am shifting my trailing stop loss to this zone. Now your profit margin is increasing now. Now anything next, yes, we have a drop candle, we have a mini candle, small candle, base candle and a rally candle. Even though it is filled with uh, more than uh, 75, still I am considering base because it is a tiny candle, small candle. See this small base candle, exactly the same with this is also. Small candles, we can consider as a base candles, nothing wrong. You may ask, this is also small candle, why you are considering as a leg candle? See the hidden body you add. Here there is a gap, add some more body will be added to this. That way the range will increase. So drop base rally. After that any zone, again here, we have a drop base, again add hidden body, rally candle, again rally candle, follow through candles. So let, let us shift the zone. So that means uh, trailing, we are moving this uh, trailing. This is what the meaning of trailing, moving. You are moving your stop losses. And after that moving, moving, again here you may consider here somewhere. Either you may consider this as a medium, maybe, okay, ERC candle, lagging, okay, fine. Base and uh, rally. This is your new zone, again. That means, see here. You are holding the position how you are moving. After that this zone, drop to base candles and a rally candle. That means again you, you, you should move to the next one. So you can delete this. Now drop base rally. And again after that anything else is created. Here you have a drop base rally. Now shift your uh, So that means keep, we see how much move from here to here we captured. Now what happened? When? On 13th March, recently, a week back. On 13th March, this zone is uh, stopped out. Now you need to exit. At what price you need to exit? Let me show you what is the low of this candle, a little, or a little lower than that. Let us calculate approximate value. 2900.35, let us say at 2900 we exited. Let me take a calculator. 2900 is the point we exited. And when you took the entry, this is the zone, 75 minute zone. What is the entry? Let me go to 75 minutes time frame. Double to 27. Double to 27. Approximately, I am calculating. This is your entry price. At 2,227, you brought Reliance and 2,900 you exited. And how many months you carried this position? Four months you carried this position. That's why I told you, remember the month October. This is March. 
so five 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 months five months you carried not four months five months you carried this position and how much money you captured profit 673 rupees you got the money maybe you would have to you would have taken a cash trade or maybe you would have taken a futures trade if you would have taken a futures trade probably you would have done uh, rolling out of your futures to multiple months rolling out means if, uh, if expiry is done you just uh, exit and again immediately next month future you will buy that is roll out you would have rolled out your position for 4 months how much money you would have got more money you would have got in futures even cash itself you got uh, 673 rupees so let us assume you have brought uh, let me open another calculator you have 1 lakh capital let us assume in the 1 lakh capital how many shares you can buy 2 triple to 7 divided by let us assume everything you uh, everything is fit within your risk management let us assume time being don't raise any questions related to risk calculations time being let us assume everything is in your favor so 40 for 1 lakh rupees you would have got 44.9 say 45 approximately 45 shares you purchased a little over 1 lakh rupee by adding maybe another maybe 4000 5000 extra so 45 into triple to 7 you would have invested 1 lakh 215 rupees so 45 into 673 You would have got thirty thousand rupees profit for one lakh investment. How much profit you would have got? Thirty thousand to eighty-five into hundred divided by one lakh. You got thirty percent return in just five months' time period. Thirty percent return you got. If you had invested one lakh in the bank, you would have got maybe five percent or six percent return in one year, not in five months. But you got thirty percent return in just five months. Suppose if you would have invested in futures. Let us see margin calculator, zero thus. so it is reliance to 50 stocks 1,29,235 that is today's value maybe 4 months back the value is less maybe it could have been maybe 1,5,000 uh, or 10,000 not definitely not more than that still we will keep 1,20,000 worst case scenario let us assume 120000 was the margin cost one futures margin cost how much money you would have captured 673 rupees profit right 673 into 250 lot size into 250 you would have got 168250 rupees how much your investment 120000 is doubled your money is doubled in more than doubled in 5 months so 168250 into roi we calculate 100 divided by 120000 could be let us assume at the time the cost of one futures margin for reliance approximately we are calculating because we don't know the exact values approximately we are assuming definitely the value would have been less than 120000 not more than this you got 140% profit if you would have invested in futures so close to five times if it is cash because margin they will be giving your brokers will be giving a margin between four times or fifth time five times this is 140 time 
cash already you got 30 times profit so 30 into 5 you give 150 times but the value we have given it is showing 140 because maybe if you reduced another 10 uh, 10000 rupees margin cost maybe we would have achieved this five times uh, cost generally brokers will give up to five times up to five times uh, they will give margin See, even just your money would have been doubled. Your money would have been doubled if you invested in Reliance five months back and using trailing stop loss, using trailing stop loss, whatever the strategy I explained. This is an advanced strategy. Sometimes what you did, you kept your trailing stop loss in 75 minutes time frame. The moment a new daily zone is created, you shifted from 75 minutes to daily time frame. And then what we are doing? Using daily zone as a trialing stop and we keep on moving until the daily zone is violated. Because the moment daily zone is violated, the trend is changed. The daily trend is changed. So this is the strategy. This is the way you can implement the strategy. See, even though the trend is on weekly, for MIT trade, trend is weekly. But why we exited? Because daily stop loss we are we increase from 75 minutes we move to daily. And whenever the daily zone is violated, we are expecting now prices will go down from daily. This is not exactly weekly trend specific. This is a stop loss based on the daily. Entry is daily. Initially we started with 75 minutes trailing stop loss. This is how you can capture big moves, especially when you are taking trades, MIT trades and WIT trades with zone confluence. See the trade we have taken, monthly zone is having confluence with weekly zone, weekly zone is having confluence with daily zone. In the daily zone we fine tuned and minimized the risk and we took a trade. At 75 minutes time frame we took, just for minimizing the risk. And after that, we started with 75 minutes trailing stop loss. Once the daily zone, new zone is created, new daily demand zone is created, we shifted from 75 minutes to daily time frame. That means whichever your entry time frame, same time frame we've been continuing with our trailing stop loss. So we mixed two different time frames, 75 minutes time frame and daily time frame for our stop loss, uh, trailing stop loss zones. So such kind of mixing the strategy that has given you a very good money for your reliance. So this is the summary of what we did so far. See same points we discussed. Let me summarize once again. Because this is the important steps. Now you will get clarity because you have seen on the chart. Now you will clearly memorize all these points. Don't skip, please listen this, this is important now, this exercise. When prices are nearing to the target zone, first what we did, we find one time frame, lower opposing zone, that is 75 minute zone we identified, and we call that 75 minute zone as a trailing stop loss zone. And we made sure 1 is to 3 RR is there, even in the example, we did that. We got exactly 1 is to 3 RR is there. So we considered the 75 minutes is eligible for trialing stop loss. So the, in case any reason if that uh, stopped out, at least we would have got 1 is to 3 profit for our trade. If 1 is to 3 RR is not available, we would have gone for uh, probably 15 minute zones we would have gone, but we didn't get that chance. If prices continue in our favor, because they continued in reliance, so we carried our positions. And this is the important step. What is that happened? A new daily demand zone is created for reliance. The moment a new daily demand zone is created, what we did? We shifted the time frame from 75 minutes to daily time frame for our trailing stop loss. The reason why shifted is trailing zone point of view. 
now we shifted the trailing zone to daily zone the newly created daily zone and from then onwards we we are waiting for only daily zone should be violated as long as daily zone is not violated we are happy we we are holding our positions so we continued the position till the most recent trailing zone stopped out after 5 months after 5 months reliance daily demand zone is violated that too after uh, i mean that too before a week back one week before only the daily zone is violated that means we carried reliance position for more than 5 months or for about 5 months that way we captured 30% return in the cash trade in 5 months reliance gave you 30% return based on the trailing stop loss if you would have taken a future trade and if you roll over uh, those positions every month after the expiry still you continued your uh, futures for the 5 months that way you got 140% return you got 140% return your money is doubled more than doubled 140% 100% mean doubled 100% plus another 40% extra profit we got 140% profit if it is if it would have been a futures but anyway futures very less people will do such kind of risky things there are people will do people having huge capital in futures they don't mind to do such kind of things but small investors like us probably we will hesitate to carry our positions but even then in the cash segment you got 30% profit excellent profit got it so this is what we discussed and this is the end of our uh, trailing stop loss if you are having any questions please put them in the comment section i will try to answer but it's a very important concept and very useful concept and now we are moving to our next lesson last lesson probably we'll try to complete in the, within this week in the last lesson we will summarize whatever we did uh, all these days and most important things are uh, there are certain uh, uh, parameters so you should not take your trade at all you have odd enhancers right if you odd enhancers are not supporting you should not take trade we didn't this discuss those points because the reason is in the last lesson i want to discuss that so that you all people will remember so the summary of what we learned so far in the second phase of our training program that everything we will see and uh, when you should not consider the demand zones maybe your odd enhancer score is very good the minimum 12 it is meeting you got 12 that means excellent but one parameter is uh, you got zero score not all odd enhancers some odd enhancers if you get zero you should not take the zones even there is a one also one odd enhancer one odd enhancer even if you get one you should not take the trade one means good generally but still you should not take trade even if your odd enhancer score is 12 or above you should not you should reject the trades so what are those important odd enhancer parameters why they are such an important what are the reasons behind that that we will discuss in our last lesson so with that uh, our phase 2 training will complete so one more lesson is remaining that is lesson 20 lesson 20 is going to be your last lesson for your second phase of the training okay hope uh, this uh, lesson is useful to you let us all meet again in our next video thank you